And here we are on July the 18th of 2000, taking some video of a Sony Super VHS machine I've had for just about a year now, maybe even a little bit over. This is the model SVO2000, which I'm going to be selling very, very soon to make room for the infamous JVC 10,000, which I finally, I think, I'm getting back in uh, working condition. <laughs> anyway, um, here's the SVO2000. Not focusing all that well. This is really in beautiful condition. I got this for a song off the internet. Um, actually, I brought this back from Vegas with me, so it had to be over a year and a half ago. But this thing has a lot of features on it. There we go. And I'm going to miss this thing. This has the best SVHS, SVHS picture I've ever seen. It's really, really good. And uh, I'm going to miss it. Here's the reason why I'm getting rid of it, rid of it the stupid spring-loaded wheel, which is terrible. It's impossible to edit with, and um, it's it's just an awful feature. But uh, a lot of the new Sony VHS machines have that damn thing, so I guess I'm stuck with it. This thing has a, um, a big blue display right in the middle with all your info on it. Showing your level control and whether your SVHS is on or off and all that stuff. This is what a tape playback looks like on this thing with the uh, little motion things going and of course the hours, minutes, seconds counter. And this whole thing can be seen through the front with the front leg closed. That's all you can really see, which I also don't like. Let's see if we can do something about this, this lighting. There we go. That's a lot better. At least now you can, now you can see this thing. The way it actually looks. As auto tracking has has a Sony exclusive called Adaptive Picture Control, Adaptive Picture Control, which is APC, which supposedly adapts the machine to the tape that you're recording with. But uh, it does make very good recordings, I have to admit. And I'm going to miss it. This thing's in pristine condition. I'm selling it for the same thing I got it for, 450. So uh, it's not too shabby. All right, Ray Glasser, take our last look at the Sony SVO2000 here on July the 18th of 2000. See ya.